I was working in the ICU and uh, children who had been a, in a traumatic accident would come in. And um, I remember one, one uh, 18-year-old-ish uh, coming in uh, to the ICU and had been in a coma for several days. Uh, actually, I think it was a couple weeks at this point. Um, and I had been coming by. I had, I had spoken to his family. I had spoken to his best friend who was with him at the time of the uh, motor vehicle accident and learned about him. I had actually looked at his iPod to see what were his most recently played songs prior to his accident so that I could really get an assessment of his music biography. What, what music was powerful for him? What meant something to him? And so I would play these songs for him. Um, and for, for a long time, there was minimal response other than maybe his, his you know, pulse ox reading, his heart rate dropping a little bit or something like that. Um, but no hand squeezes, no behavioral responses that, that um, the physician team would, would um, validate as, as a change for this young man. Um, until one day when I started singing one of these songs and he opened his eyes slightly and um, this isn't the first time that this has happened. So I've worked with several other patients that came in in a coma um, and started to open their eyes during the music. Uh, but for this man in particular, he, he didn't just open his eyes, he opened them and found me directly. He immediately found me um, and a tear rolled down his face. And so I thought, oh gosh, I don't know what that tear means. I don't know if I have created something sad for him, a sad memory, um, if it's a a positive experience. Oh my gosh, I am I'm aware of something. Um, my eyes are open. I can see you. I, I can't I can't read into that tear. I don't know what that tear means. Um, and so I, I finished the song um, slightly sooner than the song would typically end, and his mouth immediately went M -m. and I thought, oh, what is he saying? I don't know what he's saying. M -m. And he kept saying it, and I said do you want more? Do you want more? And he kind of shook his head. So immediately in that moment, he went from completely comatose to interacting with me, um, just, just like that. Now, over the, over the course of the next week, he had moments of extreme irritability as he came off of medications and um, became more aware. And the music would consistently meet him where he was and bring him down and allow him to calm himself without having to um, take on more sedative medications. And his mother um, told me that she believed that without the music throughout that phase, that, that phase of you know, really becoming irritable and, and at times even aggressive, um, that he wouldn't have recovered the way that he did. She really understood the impact of, of music for him and the power of music for him in a way that she didn't before. She said that she used to always um, complain to him about the music he chose to listen to and, and that she would never do that again because she saw that it was so powerful for him.